be having a quick um, mini lesson review on our ge geometric or our geometry shapes. So uh, let's quickly review what are sides versus verse vertices, okay? So when we look at a shape, we are looking at how many sides and how many vertices each shape has. So if I look here to our little example, I can see that our square has one, two, three, four sides. If I count the vert vertices, so those are the corners, I can count one, two, three, four. So a square has four sides and four vertices. Let's kind of review the rest of our shapes. So when we look here, we have, are looking at a triangle. If we are counting the sides first, we can look here and we can count one side, two, and three. Let's count the vertices, one, two, and three. So let's continue this with the rest of our shapes. When we look at a rectangle similar to a square, we can see that we have one, two, three, four vertices, one, two, three, four, and four sides. If we look at our pentagon, remember a pentagon has one, two, three, four, five sides. Now let's count the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, okay? If we look here at the circle, a circle is one we haven't reviewed as much, but we can see, looking at the circle, that there are no corners, or vertices, I should say, and there's no sides. A circle does not have vertices or sides. Let's look at our octagon. All right, so if we're counting our um, vertices, we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we count the sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight sides, eight vertices. Looking at our rhombus, we can count one, two, three, four vertices. Let's count the sides, one, two, three, four sides. All right, and we did our square as part of the review here, so we know that there are four sides and four vertices. And then a hexagon. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six sides. All right, and similar to the circle, an oval does not have any sides and does not have any vertices. We are going to continue practicing our geometry shapes tomorrow in our mini lesson and as well as you will see continue to see them on your math Google slides. All right, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.